We're shooting for 2,000 horsepower. On this bottom end, I think we'll make... Return to sport? Always. You guys, I have been doing it wrong. I've been doing it wrong this whole time with the Bronco. If you guys who are watching the videos own a new Ford Bronco, you gotta make sure you drive it in sport mode. I've been driving around in normal, I know, coming from the girl who says track mode, everything. And the transmission control and the throttle response in sport mode, no other way. Sport mode, ride or die, I will not drive in anything else. But today is a very exciting day. I'm sure you clicked uh, based on the thumbnail title, half of you, and the other half, I appreciate y'all for just click on every video no matter what because I do my best to provide the best content for you at all times. So some of you guys who know me know how important this is to me and I don't want to tell you yet because I want you guys to be surprised as well. So don't skip ahead, but I might cry. You might see me cry today because today's going to be a very emotional day. But what is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to be working on the 2000 horsepower big block supercharged S550 Mustang. Today we are going to be fabricating headers. We are going to get as much work done on the Mustang as possible in order to get one step closer to a first start. There's been a few part delays just with shipping and the current situation in the world right now. So we should have all the final parts today and some of the rest tomorrow. And while we have the transmission made into the engine, we're gonna fabricate the headers. The spacer for the throttle body carbs to the ejector hat arrived today. So we'll be installing that as well. And look who we have here helping out with the headers today. The man, the myth, <laughs> legend. Tubes. I got tubes. tubes. Holy crap. Yeah, what do you think? That looks disgusting. Are you gonna drive this on the street? No, I would never. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I figured. This I, is not sus at all. I've grown to really love and get so excited for this build, and I realized I just don't like stock cars. Can you even see? <laughs> you just need to see straight. Can you even see straight? <laughs> How much power is this supposed to make? We're shooting for 2,000 horsepower. On this bottom end, I I think we'll make 1500. So what is this bottom end? It's fully built. So an SVO block based off the 460, it's a 598. So it's basically 600 cubic inches, twice the size of an LS, almost. I'm not good at math. Forged crank, H-beam rods, aftermarket pistons. It's got a high compression ratio. So that's why we're not thinking under boost. 2000 immediately, but we were able to do 1200 with a higher compression ratio on the C8 than this with twin turbos, so. Wow, I can't wait to hear it. I know, me too. You fabricated headers before? Yes. I've never fabricated headers before, so this will be fun. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, look at those sexy collectors. Is that even gonna fit? So yeah, that's some big stuff. We'll have to just come up with a flow, you know, which one is gonna go where, and we'll have to start with one, and then we gotta make sure that we don't make it impossible to weld. That's one thing with building headers that a lot of people do. Cause you start jacking stuff around and you're like, oh, you're like, I, I can't get to that. that. Yeah. yeah, you gotta make sure you can get the torch in there and whatnot. Cause I got stainless so we can take it. If we get in the jam, just shove a MIG in there, a little hot glue. <laughs> no little JB well, let's go. <laughs> we'll see how tight this gets. We might get into something like that. <laughs> this is gonna be challenging. Yeah. For sure. I'll be surprised if we get this done in a day, but I'm always hopeful. Something that I'd been considering doing it and I saw it online and it sounded so good was doing 180 headers. I know you know what that is, but for the viewers, I'm gonna explain. Basically, you're out one primary, to one side and another primary to the other. And basically what you get is this flat plane crank scream almost. And it sounds so good, but the problem is your wide bands because you're gonna be reading a little bit off of each bank instead of just having wide band one, wide band two. So for that reason, we're not gonna do it. This is just gonna be chaos. You're not gonna yeah. hear like a flat plane out of it. It's just gonna sound gnarly. And it also, I think in this situation, it's better to have that gnarly, nasty sound yeah. that it is to have that, you know, rev that you'd want in the vet or something like that. But this, no. Yeah. You want it to shake everybody's eyeballs out. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I really do think this is gonna shake eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Your own. Yeah. You're sitting in there. Yeah, we better plan this routing very well. You can blow yourself away in here. Also, I have some news. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm trying, I can't stop smiling. My comes in today. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's cool. I'm proud. I'm happy. Thank you. I'm so excited. How does it come in? I don't get this. I, what, <laughs> what do you mean it comes in? It's a, they it's ship an <laughs> Yeah, like a crate. They ship a in a crate? That seems <laughs> sketchy. Look at all that room. Oh, there's plenty. It will fit. Oh, the dirty puns. Q 
huge thank you to our friends over at Harbor Freight for hooking us up with the band saw for the shop. This is gonna come in super handy today. Plans to build headers, spends the whole day assembling a band saw. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dan is the expert fabricator, so I'm gonna be taking his lead and ideally welding the headers myself. We'll see. That's a horrible line. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing? It's close enough. <laughs> Sandy just got a call about extending his car's warranty. Hi, this is Tom with the warranty division. Can you please verify the year, make, and model of your vehicle so we can pull up your file? Uh, it's a 39 Model T. <laughs> okay, this is not qualified here. Have a good day. Oh, then why are you guys calling me? <laughs> Hung up on me before I could yell at him! <laughs> 30 dime model feet, they didn't even make that. <laughs> She's just like, all right, goodbye. My favorite is when Sandy answers the call and they go, oh, I'm sorry, sir, is Sandy there? <laughs> and he goes, she left me <laughs> for my best friend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've done that a couple times. <laughs> Dan and I have three primaries tacked together onto the flange right now. We're working on the fourth one. He's smoothing the, the cut right now. We have this piece tacked together and I think one more, we should be able to clear the steering column. That will be perfect in theory and then it'll just be kind of running everything to the collector underneath. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> This is that simple. You okay there, Dan? <laughs> Feeling <What>? great. <laughs> Look at that. Say hello to my little friend. It's a pain to do this, but it's really satisfying when you're done. This is so satisfying. Yeah. yeah. Then we just gotta figure out how to go down to the collector and we're good on this side. This also fits like this. So now you have an idea and these are all gonna have this kind of flow to it. So see, that'll be around the steering then. So the steering shaft is basically right here. These then will walk around it. I wanna move this one up a little bit. So when we cut this off, yeah. move that up. Right now this runner is sitting on the, the steering column. So we'll file that down a little and reposition it, but but yeah, that's gonna have a really cool look to it as well. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. Yeah, we have this weird like oval thing that's gonna yeah. suck. What we gotta do is cut these tacks off, make sure that this is really straight, and then we'll put that in the vise and crush it to try and match this oval. I am going to go ahead and start welding the primaries. And while I do this, Dan is gonna start fabbing up the passenger side so that, uh. Hopefully, hopefully we can get one side welded and maybe two today. We're gonna be actually working in a sequence together. Yeah. So you'll be welding, I'll be kind of fitting everything up and then by the time I'm done fitting up, you're welding again, so. Frick yeah. We've got an assembly line now. Hell yeah, brother. You guys need some uh, <laughs> some headers made for a big old 460 <laughs> Mustang? We got you. You came to the right place. <laughs> Since the 458, I am honestly really happy with how this came out. It looks like it got a little hot. I'm still working on modulating the throttle here, boys. <laughs> um, as Dan was saying, I am all gas and no brakes, but. Heavy foot, you got a heavy foot. But uh, I will say, I don't have a whole lot of experience with filler, and. Well, it'll hold. Only. <laughs> Six more to go. And then we haven't even talked about the rest of it. Dossie's good. Yeah, it's good. How do you feel about welding the other ones? I'm ready for it. I'm up for the challenge. Dan has been giving me some super helpful advice. That was the first one. 
That was the second, and the third was better up here. <laughs> Thanks for the tips. It is almost time. It is almost time to go and show you guys a big surprise. But before we do, I want to show you this incredible work of art. This is roughly what the driver's side is going to look like. We have to do material to the collector, but for one day, and with how tight of a space that was clearing the steering column, I am super happy with the progress, and I'm also super happy with my welds. We do have to go. Before we go, there's a couple things I want to show you real quick. What I want to show you is probably not only the most bad Badass balancer I've ever seen, <laughs> but also the most expensive. <laughs> Take a look at this! Oh man! Before you start commenting, no, it's not in all the way. We need a different timing cover and a different seal. This isn't gonna work with what we have, but this is so gangster looking. We also got the throttle body to injector hat adapter plate. So now we no longer have to use a ratchet strap to hold up the injector plate. And like I said, you guys, that's some um, solid injury right there. If that's a word, we're gonna say it. So this is gonna sit even higher than what it was already if this motor wasn't big enough to begin with. Some good progress today, getting closer to first start. I'm really, really excited to hear this. I don't know if I've ever been so excited for a first start of a car until this bad motherfucker right here. Now, we're starting to run out of time. We're starting to run out of time. I got one last thing to show you. We have the most badass engine on the Mustang, right? We have the most badass transmission and what we need is the most badass clutch possible. So with that said, Huge shout out to ACT because we are going to be running their highest torque rated clutch that they make. I'm really excited to open this up. And you guys, I'm so serious when I say I only promote the best product possible. I don't give a flying f to take sponsorship money. I wanna work with brands and partners that I wanna work with that I only feel like would be good for you at home. Inside this advanced clutch technology box, we have an SFI certified clutch pressure plate flywheel. This is one step higher than the clutch that we have on the G body. So this is twin disc, six puck unsprung. This is beautiful. We're not gonna be able to install this tonight. One, because I have to go, but two, because this is a zero weight flywheel. This block used to be a 460. The 460s were counterbalanced. I actually have a flex plate right behind me, surprise. And you guys can see that they welded weight on here to counterbalance it. We need to send the flywheel to a machine shop for them to weld weights onto it so that we can have a counterbalanced for the rotating assembly that we have. So I'm gonna leave Sandy with this flywheel. He's gonna go get it machined so that Hopefully, hopefully, tomorrow, if not the day after, I will be able to install this inside the Tick Performance transmission. Thank you, thank you, ACT, for coming on board with this project. I'm really excited to push this to the limits and seeing how far we can go. Should I tell the vlog? Should I tell you guys what's going on now? I'm taking delivery of my first JDM project. You guys, I'm headed to the airport to pick up my baby eight-week-old Shiba Inu. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm like tearing up thinking about it! Alright, let's go! We interrupt this broadcast with some breaking news. Moto Oils has officially launched their online store and exclusively for all my amazing supporters, they are doing 20% off and free shipping on orders $99 or more using promo code AMELIA20. Thank you Moto for helping me create content and you guys please helps show love and support to the brands that help me to create content for you guys at home. All right, back to your regular scheduled broadcast. <laughs> and make sure you guys tag me in any posts you do, either receiving the oil or doing the oil change on your cars because you already know, I'm just gonna screenshot your posts and end up posting them on my Instagram page anyways. <laughs> mother of a child, I think I should just sell all of my cars and get a minivan. Come on, an Odyssey. Should I case swap it? I think they might even come with a case series. Bro, being a mom isn't so bad after all. I'll sell the Bronco, I'll sell the Corvette, I'll ditch the Mustang halfway through the build. Do I get a Honda Odyssey? What's another minivan? <laughs> Yeah, this is the one. Oh, I'm like tearing up right now. 
Thank you. Oh, baby. 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 Next time I go on 50 flights in three months, you gonna come with me? Sean's gonna drive so I can sit with my Shiva. Oops. Oh, someone's excited now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's here. She's super chill. Yeah, she's sleepy. Yeah. She slept the whole car ride. You did it. Yeah. Say hi to everyone at home. I'm gonna start crying again. Oh, so we officially have a shop puppy. Um, and I need help coming up with names. So you guys, please comment below. It can be car related. It doesn't have to be. I was thinking uni because I love uni. But I don't know. Hi friends. Also, we have some merch dropping soon, so I will keep you posted. We're gonna go ahead and close out here. I'll see you guys in the next video. And with that, bye. Oh, you know not to look at the blue light, right? Oh really? Don't look at the blue light. Am I gonna die? You can look at it through the camera, but don't look at it. Am I gonna die or something?